Can we pet the cat? Yes, let's pet the cat. Don't you have better things to do? Well, fine. You need to get more pettings then. All right, let's keep it moving. <laughs> now the cat will sass me right when there, I pet it. Pennies. Okay, never mind, you made it weird! Shining a bright red as always is I, Red Luster, and Max in Sound Mind. Hello. We're gonna go through the door. Flashbang! You went through the door. Literally. And flashbang! Man, that makes me miss old Flash games. Everyone misses Flash. For one reason or another. Yeah. I, I still don't get why they had to remove it outright. I don't understand either. Oh. Oh, well, that's right. Wow, I forgot we were inside a tape this whole time. Oh, yeah. What is the tape saying now? I think I'm ready now. We can talk about the scars. My face. If you'd like, yes. I appreciate you not asking me about them. I mean, I do see you looking at them. Everyone does all the time anyway. I'm listening. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. I think you missed the tape recorder. Did I? Isn't there one, another one here? No, they're at all the lampposts, I think. Uh, I thought there was a lamppost here. Nope. Sorry, Optimus Prime, I gotta use you as a platform. You all are one. Eat. When I was a kid, my mom, she used to sign me up for, like, Little Miss whatever the hell, you know, like these beauty pageants. Ah, yeah, for this one, your I was practicing at home, oh, too and much. I was in the bathroom just playing with, like, some of my mom's makeup, and, and then I... Uh, sorry. Take your time. Right, the cabinet fell on her and broke, and cut her face off. mirror. What? It was a, it was a whole ass mirror. Well, yeah, but, you know, it's part of the cabinet. I just slipped. I don't know. I lost my balance and I grabbed the mirror cabinet and the whole thing just fell apart. I hate her. My mother. She made me go anyway. Made you go where? Out. To the pageant. To school. Everywhere. With a busted up face and stitches. That? Yeah, that does seem kind of mean. She's a monster and a liar. She told me I was still pretty. She said people wouldn't judge me. Guess what? They did. They look at me with pity. I look back at them with hatred. I hate her. I hate everyone. I understand. Stop looking at me! Ah, oh, poor thing. This is why children should not have beauty pageants. I thought the lesson was don't force your children to... move... Don't force your children to ignore painful trauma. Well, that too, but this all started because of the damn pageant. passion. Well, it didn't start because of the passion. It started because the mother was just like, you're fine, keep going. No, it started because the mom wanted to put her in a pageant, and then she wanted to look pretty for the pageant. Oh, right, and that's what she caused the cabinet to fall on her. Yeah. So, no, you're right. It started the whole obsession with appearance. You see, the funny thing about me, I don't give a crap about my appearances. I often want to just go out and my family is like, my, you can't go out looking like that. And I'm like, what? You got bedhead? You, you, your clothes are all wrinkled? I'm like, who cares? 
Uh, sweetie, I think that's because we're guys. Well, yeah. Who cares what I look like? I'm just some guy. Yeah, we're guys. She is, well, oh. a girl. And you know girls, one of the most things they rely on is looks. Oh, hey, and it's her, uh, thingy. Heightened sense of anxiety as of late. Increased sense of unknown dread and fear. I believe it's something to do if they don't look good and they don't feel welcome, I guess. Society. Desmond? Darling? What? Uh, who said that? Cat. The cat. Why, I did, of course. It is talking. It's talking. Oh, you can talk now? I mean, you could argue that I always could, and you just didn't care to listen. No, That's you weird. Now. Let's not waste any more time on how unbelievable this all may be and tackle the situation at hand. You are talking cat. You are going to die, Desmond, if you do not get to the bottom of all this madness. Madness? Simply, you must keep a level head and find a way through this. Level headed? We're talking to a cat right now. As fast as I possibly can. Now, concentrate. Who might have some answers? I, I I don't know. This is weird. This is the sanest Patience thing Dibbon that says. Patience and grace. Patience. But my patience. Don't you find it curious? You can enter Virginia's apartment and she doesn't even live here. Oh, I froze. Something oh. strange is happening. Oh, never mind. You would benefit from knowing what that is. Oh, no. Nope. It sounds like a plan. I keep freezing. The cat is too high, high poly. Too many, too many hairs. Can we pet the cat? Yes, let's pet the cat. Don't you have better things to do? Well, fine. You need to get more pettings then. Alright, let's keep it moving. <laughs> now the cat will sass me right when there, I pet it. Pennies. Okay, never mind, you made it weird! That became weird real Bye. fast. Bye! Bye, I... What, what the hell was going on? Why is the cat coming on to us? I don't like this, man. They're putting chemicals in the water that turns the freaking cats... You know the rest of it. Well, it can't be gay, because that's a female cat. Did we check? You know, no, no, we're not going to check that. No, he's literally the first time he we saw the cat. He called it a her. Plus, it has a female voice. So, all right. But let's go back because I know we missed stuff on the other floors. Well, there was a barrel on the first floor, but basement. Yes. Now let's go blow it up because now we have a surplus of ammo. Thanks to the grocery store. Ah, yes. The, uh, what was it? Hoppa Mart? Something Mart, yeah. And this. <laughs> the something Mart. It got something. What do you got? Well, we got something. Oh, and it broke the boards for us, too. Nice. More ammo. Ooh, stealth. And, uh, the oh, other we can bring thing... that vent too. The what? The vent. You know what? the vent. Which one? In the very first area. Oh. Oh, that's right. We couldn't break it. Ah, ain't this familiar? The trash room. Uh oh. The guy put us here because he called us trash. Okay. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Uh, Alright, we gotta find the uh, other vent to get there. I think this packs the chair in the other room. Yep. Yoink. Zoink. It is kind of funny that we have to use a piece of glass to break a metal vent. 
I guess our guy is very strong. He's not strong enough to do it with his bare hands, apparently. I don't know. Don't look, all I know is it's a video game. He has to do it with something. Yeah. Hey, Gordon Freeman. Gordon Freeman? We should play Half-Life for this channel. We should. I just... Don't rem remember to. Oh, it's mm. cold in here. Uh, should I go through that? I think it will kill you. Oh, it's cold in here. Um. Uh. Yeah, I think we're dying. Are we? I. It's getting darker. It's it, it's not getting any darker for me. Oh. Oh, there's a literal wall stopping oh, me from going any further. Oh. Then. Oh, there's a man. You gotta be sus. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wait, is this where the gas mask is? Ah, so it is. Yoink. Oh. This should help with the gas. What, what gap? What? Oh, nice. Oh, so it doesn't burn us, it's just gas. Well, yeah, we can't inhale the fumes. And it's rechargeable, too. I didn't even notice that. Get out of here, stalk ya. Ha! <laughs> the little flourish. Long. Nice. Now, can we get through it with this? No. It's cold forward. It's too cold. Alright, um, there are more pills around here, though. But yeah. I don't think I can get to him with that, uh, thing blocking us. So, uh... I guess to basement one, then. Well, it's not basement one, that's just first floor. Basement one. Right, the exit will never open for us. Did we just get over church? Oh, we got, we got more health. That's right. Oh, yeah, we got more total health. I forgot about that. Hmm. Um, there? I guess I could blow that up. Destruction. Ah, yes. We get, we get more blood points. Nice. How oh, would you need one more? Is there anything else in here? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Just health. Alright, our new total is 105. Great, we Great. got five more health points. So that means if we find one more, we get 110. Yes, yeah, so much health. Why? Tick-tock, doctor. Tick-tock. Time's running out. <laughs> There's no time limit, fuck off. I was gonna say, I don't, I don't see a time limit. Health, battery. Pill popping boomer. Boomer? Damn, okay, wow, what the hell? Uh. Can't see how we can get past that. No, it doesn't look like it. Until we find another item, I guess. I guess we'll find matches next. Probably. It does look pretty flammable. Well, yeah, it's gas, remember? Yeah, but I mean... I'm just saying. Alright, flashbang! Flashbang up. 
Alan's home. Alan. Alan. Uh, oh, ooh, that lagged for a second. Phone. Alan's a fisherman? Or a seaman? Huh. Don't take that out of context, YouTube. Doc Wells told me to write, so I'm writing. Even though I don't want to write, it's what is what I want to do is scream at people. A woman by the lighthouse today told her meathead boyfriend I was looking at her funny and he punched me in the gut. I wish I could bury both of them in the ground. I'm so mad I'm seeing red. Hi! I don't think he means you, oh sweetheart. Okay, honey. I just don't want you to get your hopes on it. Shivers down my spine. Okay, so that, that is really just blocking us. I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess it's cold. But we got another tape. Flashbang! I hate the flashbang. I saw you, spooky thing. It's spooky, scary skeleton. Shin shivers down your spine. <laughs> Uh, you'll shriek from your sarcophagus. Some, some, some. So you're doing too right. Okay, spooky. But when I, I play spooky, Did spooky I see? Scary. Whoa! Hey, 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 oh. hey! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry, what are we waiting for? Yeah. Coin for the for the cart again. The what? The, what's the coin from? Mark coin. Yeah. I don't know okay, what it's for, but I saw it. It's filled with something evil. Probably. Anyway, we got a coin now. For whatever reason, we need a coin. Wasn't there a vending machine somewhere? Uh, yes, actually. I think it's on the, this floor. I don't know if it'll take a Homomark coin, but... Mm, doesn't nope. look like it. Only takes bills. But, uh, when we were going up the elevator, I noticed it out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, Ooh, that's a thing! And you know me, I gotta have my things. Yes, you do. What? Ah, Alan Shore, the one-man freak show, who made all your other patients seem well-adjusted by comparison. From the first moment he stepped into your office, you knew he was doomed. Did I? Oh. Okay, bye. I don't know, you're some good dude with glasses. You know, I just realized how late it is, so I'm just gonna try and tone my voice down just a little bit. Well, how long have we been recording? Uh, not that long. I mean, we just started the second recording. Okay. And we must have just been exploring this place. Roof stairs. Hmm, the elf. Oh, hey, the roof. Shall Let's we go. raise it? It's emitting a faint hum. Wait, wait, does he have EMP up here? What the hell? More health. Telescope. The moon. The moon. Huh. That's some green fog mist. Not really sure where we are. Oh. The moon. The moon. <laughs> okay, I had my fun. And yeah, we're probably gonna need something more high tech than a glass bullets. Well, I figured I'd try what I had. Well, Q 
She didn't do anything up here from the looks of it. Seeing as we gotta get more knickknacks to deal with these kinds of things. Like our glass shard and gun. Is yep. there a link between Virginia and Alan? I wouldn't rule it out. I guess I'm about to find out. Can I? No, I'm not mind. gonna find out. Once more onto the breach. Good luck. Okay. Oh, I'm freezing. Oh, that's because oh, you were just Okay, bye, cat. Let's a go. Flashbang. No, he's not Italian anymore. What do you mean anymore? Don't you remember? They're, they say Mario's not Italian anymore. But since when? Since the new movie. Oh my god. Because if we don't know, Chris Pratt hates Italians. I, did, I, I, I don't know if you should say that. I said Chris Pratt does. I didn't say I did. No, I no. I don't think you should say things about Chris Pratt. He might cancel us or something. <laughs> he doesn't even know who we are. He's running. Thank you for agreeing to be recorded. Oh, um, should I just start talking? What do you want to know? Uh, what made you decide to seek counseling? Ah, oh, man, Doc, it's it's just weird. As in. I feel weird, like, like I'm weird all the time, you know? I'm not saying this right. People think I'm weird, and it's cool I am, but I, I shouldn't feel weird, right? Yo, Mr. White, I don't, I don't feel right, you know, Mr. White? Yo, Mr. White, I don't feel too good. <laughs> he just reminds me of, of Jesse. How exactly do you feel weird? Off, odd, slightly tilted. I've had these nightmares ever since I can remember. I've always had these horrific dreams I can't explain. And they recur. Man, like there are themes in them that keep coming back. And uh, honestly, Doc, it's been such a constant that I shake my life around them, you know? Yes. Have you ever seen anyone about these recurring nightmares? Like a shrink like you? No. Honestly. For the longest time, I thought it was normal life to wake up sweating, to see things in the dark, frightful things. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay. What is it that frightens you, Alan? See, see that's the thing I don't get. My, my whole life, I could feel the presence of shadows. I could hear sorrow in the dark. Poetic man, I know. I, I got so used to being paralyzed by dread that I, I began to like it. And people notice, you know, I, I, I say weird stuff sometimes, I guess. At some point, I just decided to live comfortably in this reality, maintaining a beacon of light over a sea of darkness, alone and afraid. This is worth I'd be lying if I didn't admit that it being swallowed by darkness or, or sinking in the depths. Makes me feel alive, man. It's electric. I'm sorry, what did you say, man? So, is this a reference to Alan Wake? I, I don't know. We didn't play that yet. We should. We will. <laughs> oh, flashbang, by the way. Thanks. Thanks, Julie, for that now. Yeah. I just like saying it just in case someone looks away from the video and looks back and just sees a bright white light and don't get blinded. <laughs> hey, Red didn't say flashbang, so I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes! It's a good thing we're not bald. I don't think we are. Are you? No. I was going to say, I have too much hair. I think we both have too much hair. Well, I mean, between us, I think I have a lot more hair than you do. 
Oh, really? You can literally climb into my hair and live there if you want to. Are we talking about real life us or the uh, sonas of us? Yes. To both? Are you saying yes to both? Yes, that, that, that's the joke. The fact okay. that I didn't say one or the other, I just said yes. I don't know. I've always had a lion's mane for hair. Okay, we'll see about that once we see each other. Sure. If we see each other. Uh, anyway, we are at a dock, so you might be right, he might be a sea person. Look at you, Mr. Private Detective. What do you think is behind all this? Bigfoot, aliens, big bad government officials? Shed some light on the situation, why don't you? Is that our okay. next thing, light? I guess so. He did say he wanted to be a beacon in the Sea of Darkness. Yeah. Also, game, please. It's just the mirror shard. Wow, there's a lot of items. Oh, jeez. Well, let's go move on. Uh, a ship. What the hell, what the hell, what the hell? Oh, it's just birds. Oh, damn birds. Yeah, that's alright, they're just birds. They're just birds. Just doing their own little bird thing. Um, was there a point to coming onto the ship? Was there anything on the ship? It doesn't appear to be... Also, my, my computer is not appreciating this area. It has to render water. That is true, and there is a lot of it. Uh, Max, what is your opinion of the ocean? I don't like it. Me neither. Glad we can agree on that. What the hell? It's like... Yeah, um... Let's just ignore that for now and see what's on this boat. Nothing. How riveting. Okay, we get, might find something that's gonna cheap us out probably to think of nothing on the boats and then one thing is on the boat. Uh, knock knock. Hello. Fishing oh. cabinet. Oh, it's literally a light bulb. It's a big old light bulb. Oh! oh Did we just get struck by a meteor? What the hell was that? Oh, no. The lighthouse is evil now. Oh, okay. We just turned The Last of Us. Not The Last of Us. Evil Within, that's it. I was gonna say, that's Evil Within, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, they both uh -oh. play the similarly. They're both about weird creatures trying to kill you and you gotta sneak around. Oh, that is a threat. What's this? Pills? Speed! Oh. That was... weird. The Eye of Sauron. Is it Sauron? Sauron, Sauron, I don't... I don't know, he's a giant flaming eyeball. He is, isn't he? And before that, he was just a brute. <gasps> oh, okay. Both the light and the dark will hurt you. Perhaps like him, you should get a job at the lighthouse, alone and afraid. Well, at least we know it doesn't instantly kill us. That is true, but it did take about 10 health. Alright, what do you got to say this time? Calling us from a phone booth? Icarus flies too close to the sun and it kills him. I'll spare you the analogy. 
In our story, you're going to bring the sun to Alan, and the both of you will burn. Okay, whatever you say, buddy. Bullet. There's only so much I can carry. There's only so much I can. You, you got an entire arsenal of stuff. I was gonna say, you have a lot of room in your pockets to be carrying everything you're carrying so far. Road checkpoint one. Indeed. There's something at the end. Do you see that? I'm sorry, what? There's, some, there's something red at the end of the road. Oh well, yeah, it's the car. Are you sure it's a car? Okay, okay. I thought it was some evil. Oh, I'm freezing. Uh, use this form to report access injuries, yada yada yada. Full name, Max. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. Uh, emergency contact, Alice. Scratched out, which is not good. Description of incident, I thought it was a blown tire at first, but the asphalt in the road is melting or something. Truck stopped short of a few hundred feet. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, there is some. God, game, please stop freezing. Oh, I was wondering when it was going to come around again. Burn you. I can't get up there. Yeah, I said we gotta probably find something. Or maybe. Ah, that's why that was sticking out. Ah, more health. Nice. Great. We are the healthiest boys. We take our medication. Oh, I'm freezing. That doesn't sound good. I don't think those are birds. Yeah, I don't think that was birds that time. Also, wow, my Frank. What? Oh my god. What? As he climbed higher and higher in the sky, do you think Icarus contemplated how weird a person he was? Why can't he just be normal? Do you think his parents pushed him to be a lawyer? To be a doctor? Like your parents did? What are you talking about? I don't know. It's making less and less sense as it goes on. It's blocked from the other side. Of course it is. Alright, how do we... Hmm. How do we get in? Oh. 
back door or it doesn't seem like it. Bullets. Oh maybe we can shoot for the window. Oh no. Wait. There we go. Alright, let's see what it has to offer. I'm smart. Snacks. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. A uh, mystery deep as a lighthouse fire. On the Monday of last week, a West Virgil County Gazette found, uh, found out an ominous call had been made to the police. The caller on the other side of the line did not identify himself, but after some investigating, we believe it might have been Milton Haven's Allen Shore. Excuse me. God, I'm so burpy. Lighthouse operated the uh, beloved Potomac Bay. Asking a local and blank. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we got some peels. Yeah. The cold. The Icarus Lane. That's not ironic. Not ironic at all. I don't even know the definition of irony. I really don't. I swear I get I get it wrong all the time, so I stop using it. No, I'm being serious. Whenever I use the word ironic, I, I'm always using it incorrectly. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> think you would say that, though. But it, I'm just being honest. Oh shit, it's coming back. Okay, it doesn't see us here. They will tell you that Virgil County residents, specifically Milton Haven, have no strangers to spooky events and unexplainable phenomena. From disappearing children to reports of ghost sightings and extraterrestrial visits. So why has this incident caught our attention so? As many of you know, last week's mysterious blackout, maybe it's not so coincidental fire at Patama's lighthouse grounds, may very well be linked. Would it now? What is, what is this, the Bermuda Triangle? I don't know. Yeah, those aren't birds. Definitely don't think birds would take down entire trees just trying to take off. Well, unless it was the Thunderbird. An investigation is ongoing, according to Milton Haven Sheriff's Office. The details of above mentioned phone call must remain must remain undisclosed, but this reporter at Home of Mart Employee of the Month has a knack for getting in trouble in order to get the truth. More to follow in the next edition of Milton Mysteries. That's fine, I expected someone to be standing there. Hmm. Maybe once you look back or come back down, you will see him. I can't wait until we get more sprint. Icarus Lighthouse, authorized to be constructed by President Harrison in 1889 and completed in 1891 at the cost of... $22,300. Or $22, when a lighthouse was completed, it stood some 300 feet in the edge of the cliff. The sandstone tower is 28 feet in diameter and octagonal shape and 80 feet uh, to the lantern. Also, who cares? We're all going to die sooner or later, and these facts mean nothing. Are you even sure you're, you're really staying here being this? Maybe this is some sort of horrific fever dream. Here's a random number, three, uh, 300,000. Alan Shore is burned alive by the government. What? Okay. This is... Just up for where plaque. I was going to say, this plaque is oddly self-referential. I hope this is enough cover. 
can't see us. Oh, we're too close to it now. Oh. No, I want the I want the craft mac and cheese. The well, mm, all these exploding barrels. And now darkness barrel. Can I blow it up too? No. No, it literally stabbed your bullet. It ate my bullets. <laughs> Wait, what about the car? Can we blast the car into it? What? I don't. I don't want. I don't want to blow those up. I feel like those are there for a reason. Oof. My frames. Uh oh. Oh, what the hell is that? Did he just become a tremor monster? I guess so. Oh, no, no. No. He literally became... Oh, this is still hurting me. That's bull crap. He would have became the evil ooze from Epic Mickey. Oh my god, my frames do not like that monster. Yeah, because he's literally ooze. This maniac probably melted the keys to all these doors along this danged house. When management hears about this, it's going to be your butt. Get someone in there and fish them out if they still exist. I'm not seeing foot in there. The whole thing seems unstable and smells of burnt human flesh. Sign Agent Habulent, I guess. Oh. The door leading to the courtyard is locked. Ah, this doesn't work. Nope, light, go away. We need fuses. That's it. Well, there's food next to it. Next to, next to the generator where the fuses are. Oh. No. no. Wow, he really did just say no. Oh, uh, this ain't good. He's destroying all the environment. Indeed he is. It's a fuse box. That's oh. this doesn't work. Yeah, you wouldn't say. Ah, uh, light, 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 go away. Go ahead. Well, I was able to turn that light on. Is there something there? No, it just makes a safe spot. No! Go away! Be gone, demon. Oh shit. Sorry. Uh oh. Go. Man. At least it doesn't hurt us by contact. That's what it's Yeah, that's right. You get out of here. A little drip. He is the drip. Uh, Red Luster, insert the, the drip sting. Wait, can I just use my flashlight to get rid of him? Don't think that's strong enough. I think it does. I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to find out. The burnt house. Oh. The darkness protects it. Pretty good. Great. Oh. 
frames. Take a look at yourself through the looking glass and see how shrouded in darkness a mind like Alan's could be. Okay. Frames. Candle. Okay. Make, Make it, it bright. bright. Oh. Oil can. Oh, nice. I was in a tower when it happened. I took the route down the cliffs and to the bathhouse, falling as I fumbled around, unable to see. How long have you been recording? I don't know. Uh, well, well, you know what? Let's cut it here and do one more episode to finish this area. How about that? Okay. All right, then, Max, was your daily wisdom? Um... Don't go to the lighthouses. Lighthouse is bad. If if a lighthouse looks like the eye of Sauron looking upon you, maybe it's not a good idea to be in its line of sight. Yeah. Anyway, this has been Red Luster signing out. <clears throat> Aren't you going to say goodbye? Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>